narcos, the dead, have rapidly grown from a petty band of Central American drug dealers into a significant narcotics operation dominating the two islands forming Pacific City's east side, a district now known as La Mugre, the dirt. The gang's death designation was originally chosen to strike fear into those who might dare stand in their way. Now their name is more associated with the consequences of their vile trade. Los Muertos are formidable fighters with remarkable brute strength and brutality to match. They are also renowned vehicle specialists, stealing and customizing the finest cars and vans before using them to great effect in crimes and getaways. Be aware that La Mugre's South Island is packed with rooftops that present an ideal retreat for athletic agents under extreme duress. Violeta Santa Maria Sanchez. Hot, dirty, deadly. Three choice words used by an undercover officer to describe the persuasive Los Muertos recruiter before he fell foul of her charms and her extreme initiation ceremony. Sex and violence are her favored tools. Beyond a severe beating lies the allure of an endless and effortless supply of the finest women, narcotics, firearms, and vehicles. With Violetta out of the frame, it's not such a pretty picture for Los Muertos. Recruitment is at an all-time low. With less new blood on the streets, the civilians are regaining their confidence. The agency is pleased with your progress. Rodrigo Montaña Alvarez knows no morality, no fear, no boundaries. This mountain of a man rules a brutal pit-fighting operation at his sports complex on La Mugre South Island. He trains the men for his own physical indulgence, showing off his prowess in the ring against multiple assailants. The result, Los Muertos is fit and lethal in close quarters combat. Rodrigo Alvarez is dead. Without Alvarez to push them to their physical limits, Los Muertos gang members are unlikely to stay in shape. Do not allow yourself to become complacent by this news.
People say Tremendo Guerra uses his failing nightclub on La Mugre's southern island as a front to ply his vile trade, the manufacture and distribution of a potent and addictive narcotic cocktail. A cunning, cold-blooded operator, Guerra takes deliveries of the drugs by day and deals them to the desperate by night. This operation alone accounts for a significant percentage of the Los Muertos' illicit income. Jose Guerra's timely demise spells the end of his club and of Los Muertos' fertile drugs operation. This represents a serious blow to a loathsome but lucrative trade. Rafael Chuco Diaz is a renowned and accomplished car thief, joy rider, and getaway driver. His extensive skills and knowledge are literally a driving force for any Los Muertos behind the wheel. Diaz supervises the creation of high-performance vehicles, from the illegal acquisition of the best civilian transportation available to the extensive customization process. His base of operations is a distinctive garage on La Mugre's North Island, where he and his easy riders race on a regular basis. Rafael Diaz is dead. The loss of his exacting standards means Los Muertos' choice of source vehicles is poor and their modification substandard. This is a decisive blow for justice. Ramon Pistola Gonzalez is a brutal and volatile man with an unnatural love of the gun. He handles his hardware with psychotic affection and lethal efficiency. Gonzalez controls the flow of the Los Muertos cutting-edge munition supply, from frequent deliveries at a secluded north coast cove to distribution to ground forces.
Gonzalez is no more, and neither is Los Muertos' advanced firearm speed. The threat of significantly more effective firepower finding its way onto the streets is diminished. A great many lives have been saved today thanks to you. Juan El Numero Martinez is the eyes and ears of Los Muertos, and thanks to his loyal bangers, knows everything about anything on the streets. Residing in the heart of the multi-level hillside housing development on La Mugre Southern Island, this manipulative and malicious criminal also holds the Los Muertos purse strings. Martinez puts the gang's ample illegal earnings to especially effective use when threatened by hiring the best assassins money can buy. Martinez out of the way, Los Muertos' finances and information flow are severely disrupted. The low-level bangers lack the intelligence to effectively take his place, making Los Muertos a softer target. <laughs> 